the sale for the snuggle ended on Saturday. I had gone to Walgreens one day last week and I thought I had my three coupons, but I only had one with me. So I ran back in on Saturday on the last day of the sale to utilize my other two coupons. It was any snuggle or all products, you buy two of them and you get $2 off. So basically it ended up being a dollar off each. I ended up paying $2 each one of them because uh, they were on sale two for six and then once you take away my coupons that left me paying eight dollars for all four to me that's a deal because that's the cheapest we tend to be able to get products like that around here I had mentioned on my other video that I showed what I had gotten at Walgreens um, I had asked if anybody else um, buys this brand and what you can get it the cheapest for i'm interested in finding out if anybody is able to pay less than two dollars for these these are a 70 count and this is a 32 ounce and it it covers 32 loads so i grabbed those to utilize my coupons and the savings but that sale ended on saturday if you notice they are all lavender scent and lavender is known as an insect uh, repellent so that is why if you notice, if you've watched my videos, anything that I get for the home, I tend to get in that scent. It's not even one of my favorite scents, although this smells out of this world. But I always seem to just migrate towards it for the fact that it does repel um, insects, things like moths. So um, I can't tell you whether or not, you know, using this as home products and not the actual plant itself, if it works. But I can tell you, I don't know that it's not working. So, you know, if you have something like, you know, fruit flies or uh, moths and you, know, you turn around and you use lavender scent in your house and you notice that you're not getting as many or you think that maybe you'd get more without it, you know, to me it's a win because anything helps. And uh, if that, you know tends to keep some of them away and not all of them away or I won't get as many as I would get without it then um, to me it's worth getting the lavender scent and anything I use for the home. I also stopped in at Shaw's this week. This sale runs until the 24th which is this Thursday so if anything here um, you think is a good deal and you have a Shaw's in your area definitely make it to Shaw's by Sunday. I'm sorry, uh, Thursday the 24th, and you'll be able to get this in my stop and shop haul last week. I bought these at a, as a splurge. It was a big hit. Shaw's also had these two for six, which is $3 a piece. Like I had mentioned, I don't think that's a great deal, but, you know, you got to pay what they want if you want them. So I grabbed it because everybody seemed to like it. And I also grabbed myself some honey. And that is my second tip for today. Um, if you're a bath taker, throw this in your running water uh, it softens the water it's it gives you an unbelievable bath so um, definitely try that if you're a bath taker uh, this one is made by uh, Gunters and it's 100% all natural the these uh, are at Shaw's for $4.49 they had them on sale this week for uh, $2.99 so that was a pretty good deal um, the one that I usually get is at Walmart, which is a brand that I ha I like a lot. I want to say it's Village something. I'm not sure. Um, but I pay like three something for that one. And I really like the flavor of that one. So I will let you know what I think about this one. The only thing I can say about the honey, if you're going to use it in the bath water, is um, there is no specific measurement. Uh, I guess you could put whatever you want. I tend to take like really full baths. Uh, like water full to the top so I tend to use a lot of it and you know once you start pouring it it pretty much um, goes quickly so just keep that in mind that you know honey is kind of expensive so if you're going to use it to your bath what I mean it's worth it because like I said it does soften the water quite a bit and you know it, it feels good so it's worth it in that way but you know if you use it constantly I'm assuming it'd be a little bit of, a, of an expense but I mean why not treat yourself so I thought I'd uh give you that tip with along, uh, along with my lavender tip that I gave you. They also had Pepsi product uh, 12 pack sodas this week, 4 for 10. You must buy the 4 and the limit is 4 to be able to get it for 10. 
uh, but uh, this is a pretty good deal and unfortunately I have big soda drinkers in my house so I grabbed a Voltage, um, the red one, I forgot what they call it, um, and then a Throwback and a Brisk. So all the uh, the flavors that Mountain Dew makes is part of the 4 for 10 and then this was on sale for $5.99, you get 20 of them in there. Um, it seems to be the cheapest I can get it for around here. In your area, if you get it cheaper, let me know. I'd be interested in um, hearing how much you pay for it because to me $5.99 isn't the cheapest in the world. But if that's the cheapest, I'm going to get it at. And I noticed that these work much better in my home than the just buying the big bags because the kids eat them. And then once it gets to the end, it kind of just hangs around and I probably end up just throwing them out most of the time. So I noticed with these, you know, if they're in the mood for one bag, two, three bags, they get it and then there's no waste. So these tend to work better in my house. They also had strawberries, um, two for three, a 16 ounce package, $1.50. I was supposed to grab them and I forgot to. It was the last thing on my list and I just, I just got distracted in the store and I forgot to go get it but um, if you saw my meal plan video you know that Stop and Shop also has them this week on sale um, through the 24th for a dollar seventy seven so it's a 27 cent difference I would have just got it at Shores and saved the 27 cents but uh, because I forgot it I'm just gonna grab it at Stop and Shop and my last stop for the weekend oops <laughs> was at Target and I had gotten this um, Febreze uh, this one is supposed to be like a spring line, April Fresh, and it has um, scented with downy. The, they have these there for $2.99, which isn't bad because that tends to get expensive. But I did have my dollar off coupon that I used there, so it ended up only costing me $1.99. So um, I was happy about that. And that rounds up my weekend savings. Uh, thanks for watching. Again, if you're a bath taker, try the honey i think you'll like it and uh, as far as the the lavender scent give that a go if you tend to deal with pesky little critters that don't belong in the home but somehow make it other than that have a great week thanks for watching bye